welcome you sir to the university of constitutions first of all very much congratulations you cleared your psc are the you know the toughest exams comparing you know of course in india and in the entire world uh sir if you can introduce yourself uh, for the listeners who will be watching this podcast sure i am sirvanala from bangalore i am a 2013 batch pass out i've cleared upsc twice in 2017 i got into indian defense account service and then again in 2021 i got into I know it is like a redundant question, but mm. of course, uh, about your journey as a mm. student mm. and also, mm. you know, how you became an IPS post mm. that. The journey is always, you know, has its ups and downs. When you don't clear the exam for the first one, two attempts, you're always feeling low. But then if you have this drive that you have to become the officer or if you want to become whatever you want to become. i think mm-hmm. all these become you know meaningless after a point of time correct you graduated in 2013 mm-hmm. and uh, i think first you cleared in 2017 yes. yes and later on in 2020 2021 okay so uh, mm-hmm. once you cleared that mm-hmm. you went for training mm-hmm. <laughs> you looking mm-hmm. like a raw agent also mm-hmm. sir <laughs> please tell me how how it felt matlab mm-hmm. it's just to motivate the students who are here mm-hmm. or outside who will be uh, watching this mm-hmm. podcast so what changes you feel as a person as a civilian and as a civil servant these are two different worlds altogether uh, the way we see the world as a civilian from outside and the way we see the government the people as a civil servant as a police officer these are two entirely different things and the kind of facilities that you get the kind of power that you have to have an impact over the society to change people's lives that is immeasurable correct see even i can go on speaking about this for hours together but you will not understand this unless you feel it yeah that so the motivation for everybody the students is that i will not talk about this you clear the exam you will know okay you know how it is correct okay so uh, you know upendra sethi sir i, I think I uh, from previous yeah, time very so sir tell me ki how mm-hmm. ucc mm-hmm. basically the subsidiary of mm-hmm. universal group of institution right. Uh, how it helped you mm. in your preparation, sir? See, many people used to say go to Delhi because Delhi was the hub of UPSC. Correct. Mm-hmm. It he still is even today. Mm. But I was of the opinion that if you want to clear the exam, you can do it from anywhere. I am not of the opinion that only those who go to Delhi can clear the examination. Lacks of people write the exam. Only a handful clear. Correct. It is not that only those who go to Delhi clear the examination. So when I was doing some research about any coaching institute. in bangalore so i stumbled upon uh, ucc so i didn't think too much because see a, a coaching institute is only a guide it will just uh, you know show you the direction in which you want to go right and for me in my early years i think ucc ucc showed me the right direction okay uh, and the, the kind of personal touch the faculty gives the uh, the chairman gives the upendra shetty sir i think it's it's a, it's a very good uh, you know a starting point for any new aspirant any mm. particular mm. Uh, you know moment which mm. you remember that mm. it impacted your preparation journey one faculty mr mohan yes who takes geography, geography classes mm. i think he is extremely knowledgeable and the way he teaches students i haven't seen any other teacher teach that way he is knowledgeable and the way he used to you know uh simplify concepts because geography as a conceptual subject is not very easy to understand right. because it's very technical it is scientific and especially for students who come from various backgrounds those who come from ba bcom it's not very easy for them to comprehend right these scientific concepts but he made it very easy okay so, so that is what i remember from you <laughs> if i may ask since uh, in the upsc when the mm-hmm. PDF, holy PDF comes up. Mm-hmm. You don't know what you will get. Okay. You just want your name to be there. Mm-hmm. So once you got IPS, mm-hmm. you are not sure. Mm-hmm. But I want to ask, mm-hmm. you know, any motivation before? Mm-hmm. See, it's very tough journey for mm-hmm. a student, mm-hmm. for any aspirant. Mm-hmm. It's a very tough journey mm-hmm. because every day you have to keep that momentum mm-hmm. going. That I have to study this much. Mm-hmm. I have to, you know, complete this test series or maybe current affairs. there should be a certain set of motivations na motivation i don't think it's, it's it's an abstract concept we cannot ascribe a particular meaning to what motivation is it's just that i wanted to do it i wanted to be an ips officer and that was my first preference not an ias because you know 
growing up there were certain things that i have seen which were not right and that is uh, as you said that is one of those factors i would say not motivation per se but these were the factors that drove me towards becoming an atheist correct which which were not right from a societal point of view which i wanted to correct that's why i wanted to be somebody who is already graduate and preparing mm. for them it's a completely different, different world story. and correct. here it's completely <coughs> different mm-hmm. pick up few challenges which mm-hmm. you faced during the during my preparation yes matlab which you mm-hmm. overcame okay uh challenges is that keeping the momentum is difficult because you have to keep studying for about 8 9 hours a day minimum if you have to you know cover all the uh, important syllabus, aspects important aspects syllabus that is one challenge the other thing is that uh, i was injured during my preparation mm-hmm. i had a, a fracture so for that i had to take care of myself for about 10 15 days for which there was a break in that momentum So to come back after 15 days to start all over again, that was one one of the challenges. Okay. But then, yeah, different people have different set of challenges. I wouldn't want to. Uh, apart from UCC, you must mm-hmm. have taken multiple resources. Mm-hmm. So, what were your resources in terms of book list, if okay. you can remember some, and the okay. strategy which you followed? Right. I got. Uh, in fact my optional subject was zoology there were no mm-hmm. coaching institutes in bangalore for were, zoology uh, for zoology nor were there any in the surrounding states so i got uh, books from evolution ias which you is were, in delhi that is the only institute in india perhaps i don't know mukherjee nagar sure. mukherjee nagar uh-huh. i had a friend who used to study in delhi uh-huh. so i told him to send me books. books from there so that is the only resource For apart from yeah, and apart uh, for apart from that, the basic resources like for Lakshmi Gan, NCERT, NCERT. Okay, yes. that is all that is required. In fact, correct. What is about the test series? It's hmm. very important practice. Uh, practice is important, but I don't think it is absolutely necessary. Okay, because test series. When I was preparing, I did not take many test series, mm-hmm. especially for mains. For uh, prelims, I used to take a lot of test series because you know you have to manage time. Right. Time management is one of the most important factors in prelims. So I think uh, the year you cleared, yeah. I I think pattern also got changed. Right, it got changed. And somebody changed. managing that pattern, it and is it is mm-hmm. of course that the uh, mm-hmm. cut off went down, but mm-hmm. the pattern also you know it changed. So for that, in fact, when you keep practicing one type of test series, you get tuned to that. Right. And when the UPSC changes your pattern, you're all fumbled up. Correct. See, okay. the more you practice, it is good. But then don't fixate yourself to one particular type of question. Like this year, yeah. people were preparing for that pair kind of question, pair kind of and questions. completely different. See, that is that is how UPSC functions. Unpredictable. It is unpredictable. Right. So you should be ready for that. The okay. more you practice in one particular way, mm. you're caught off guard. I'll ask this question: Ki how? important is self discipline and mm-hmm. time man- management mm-hmm. in this journey sir without which you cannot clear the examination as simple as that okay correct matlab from mm-hmm. your perspective mm-hmm. ki what you used to do mm-hmm. because it's very important mm-hmm. since people will see your journey mm-hmm. and they will understand ki this man did this mm-hmm. and they cannot repeat it but correct. they will get the uh, in, get that inspiration mm-hmm. so if you can so generally what people say is that you have to sacrifice a lot of things if you want to clear this examination which i do not believe at all okay there were certain things which i continue doing despite my preparation uh-huh. i am an avid gamer i play a lot of computer games okay. playstation uh-huh. one part of the day uh-huh. i had earmarked for that whatever happened uh-huh. 8 to 9 hours study 1 to 2 hours of whatever you want to do right some people might love going outside some people might love traveling movies whatever hobbies that they have this preparation is all about as you said time management discipline plus your mental health right if you keep studying throughout the day without giving some you know break for your mind it doesn't work that way were you meditating in your preparation no i'm not It's okay not so for so this was my meditation playing games was my meditation okay see there there's no particular Set meaning for meditation If you feel happy doing whatever you're doing, that is meditation. Correct. That is especially for me. Uh, this is this will help a lot mm. of students mm. to break the myth. Okay, I have to sit down, <laughs> rolling my fingers in some. No, no. 
okay okay if you love playing with the dogs mm-hmm. so you see there is a scientific reason mm-hmm. why doing what you love relaxes you right there there's a hormone called dopamine it uh-huh. gets released when you are happy right so when you are happy you get relaxed correct okay so you'll have that you know energy to get back into studies after you do this right okay um so all this about motivation self discipline now i want to know the real mm. inside that bachcha <laughs> that kid in you ah. so when you got selected mm. so people are making reels and videos mm. nowadays mm. that papa mai collector mm. ban gaya mai aisa dm mm. ban gaya mai sp ban gaya mm. so what was your moment mm. when you saw your name mm. in the i know you were already selected mm. back then but mm. again coming into ips is mm. very precious it is so how was your reaction <coughs> In fact, when I got the results, uh, my interview was on September twenty second. The results came out on twenty fourth. Sorry, sorry. The Please. results came out on twenty fourth of September. Uh-huh. I was still in Delhi. I was going to a friend's house that day. Uh-huh. So I came to know that the results are out. Okay. But I switched off my phone that day because I wanted to see. A friend had called me to his house. He he had not cleared the examination. Okay. Uh, his name was not. in that list so if i go to his house and i keep receiving calls he feel bad he feel bad right. so i switched off my phone the entire day i switched on my phone the next day when i came back home I, the feeling was overwhelming for me it was good but then it's just another okay thing so okay matlab you are you are making it very simple <laughs> which is not to being honest in fact i cleared the exam the second time the excitement that i had the first time was not replicated the second time because theek hai ho gaya ho gaya they are all graduate student mm-hmm. you know somebody is from ba somebody is from law mm-hmm. so what is your suggestion to mm-hmm. what should they do what should they focus on see first focus on your graduation that is the main thing because unless you master your degree subjects there is no point in studying anything else right so focus on this at the same time keep studying the basic books that your teachers okay tell you to do okay the so, more you take pressure on yourself the more you will go down the self confidence mm. plays a very you know it crucial does. role here and when you don't get the you know in mm-hmm. uh, test yeah you are not getting that result mm-hmm. you tend to lose the confidence mm-hmm. how to overcome that see as long as you have that drive to become an officer to clear the upsc these are minor setbacks see nobody is an expert in every subject nobody is born genius right and this is one examination which does not require any uh, einstein like brain to clear see all you need is that basic understanding if you are not able to score a few marks it's okay no problem you just identify where you are lacking where you are weak just work on that right it's very easy as long as you are focused as long as you are uh, driven is there anything you want to you know share with our listeners about your journey or experience okay. my experience is something that is always experienced as it doesn't matter what i say unless you feel it yourself you will not understand you have been in punjab i have punjab is in uh, news for many things right now mm-hmm. uh like uh, the indira gandhi assassinator he right. got uh, from i think farid farid pura some ah, farid pura yeah mm-hmm. there is one guy amrit pal singh got now the issue of drugs mm-hmm. as an ips officer mm-hmm. it's very challenging it is very challenging so how you are managing it see as an ips officer in a state like punjab which is very disturbed you have all the powers that you need to okay. tackle these things there is very less interference you know you have a lot of arsenal at your disposal okay to do, you know uh, tackle all these things drugs is a serious issue you know the state and the entire country is focused on eliminating that problem there are numerous technological innovations being happening right because now when you compare it with uh, 10 15 years ago uh, now technology is being used to transfer drugs right you know, they use drones drones come okay the they drop the india pakistan border india pakistan border they drop the contraband mm-hmm. and they go back so to cover the entire you know 100 kilometers 100 102 kilometers of the area of, uh, of only amritsar okay of only amritsar the entire punjab border is close to 500 kilometers okay so it is a serious challenge 
Thank you so much. Okay, uh, one question in that order. So you are from Karnataka. You know Kannada language. Yes. Now you are in Punjab. Yes. You are speaking Punjabi. Yes. Is our India actually incredible in your words? It is incredible. Okay. See, the fact that I from Karnataka, born and brought up here, uh-huh. knowing this language, and I am going there to Punjab and feeling the same way that I am in my hometown because people there are very welcoming. Right. No. Uh, not knowing the language not knowing their culture is not an it's not a hindrance at all in fact this one question has been repeating in upsc mains uh-huh. incredible india unity and diversity right. we've all been reading about that in fact i felt it you are observing i am observing it i felt it i experienced it. okay ugi is mm. having this initiative like a okay. graduate will be having upsc coaching right. so that once he graduates he'll you know able to you know Mm-hmm. They write the exam. I don't know. Many people say they mm-hmm. have the you know different viewpoint. Like you pointed out, he focus on graduation. Mm-hmm. You have to have that mastery. So, what are your takes on this mm-hmm. this particular domain where we are working? So this is a good initiative. In fact, I would say UGI is the pioneer in this right. field. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard of any other institutes you know combining both graduation and UPSC. In fact, this is actually a good thing. See, when once you start your graduation, if you're already made up your mind that you want to become a a civil servant, uh, that kind of orientation is necessary when you are doing the graduation itself. Right. So it's it's a good uh, initiative. You're already some most graduates they don't decide whether they want to become civil servants or not until a very later stage. Some people even join corporate jobs, then they decide. Uh, they if they're unhappy with right. their job. They decide. to give civil service examination later right now this initiative gives this opportunity to students in fact they have already made up their mind right they want to clear in civil service itself. examination in 12th itself so right. i think it's, it's it's a very good initiative great if anyone wants to connect mm-hmm. anything you want to say sure i'll give you my number uh matlab uh, in a email or uh, like uh, whatsapp whatsapp would be fine whatsapp mm-hmm. or for students here like any, any, anybody can contact me anytime on whatsapp If you give a call, I may not be able to pick up. But, but WhatsApp is WhatsApp is fine. I'll reply back soon. We'll try to put your numbers yeah, around sure, the sure. video. Sure, And thank you so much thank for you the so podcast. Thank you. thank you so much.